Chapter 277, I can fight 10 people like this. At this moment, Ziyu, who didn't have much of a presence among the experts, said, this is the Dharma robe I gave him. Has still wearing it, unfortunately, has no longer that person. She sighed faintly. Who would have thought that the young man who helped her cultivate back then would have such an encounter? When she saw him again, he was already someone she had to be wary of. On the ground, Lei Gensheng felt a huge blow when San Shi said that he didn't use any strength. He clenched his fists and the numinous artifacts, the Nine Dragons Lightning Spirit Mace, that he had just obtained appeared in his hands. He wanted to use them to prove himself. You're not strong enough yet. I'll deal with you directly. Song Shi realized that the top grade golden divine body was indeed too powerful. This fellow would not be able to kill him in a short period of time. There was no need to waste time. Golden light erupted as Song Shi took a step forward, bringing with him a powerful wave of energy. Swoosh. Hedel poured it in front of Lei Genshen. When he struck out with his palm, there was a terrifying sonic boom. His palm energy turned into a fire dragon, and his power was domineering and condensed. Lei Gensheng was still unconvinced. He clenched his other hand into a fist and punched out. Dense lightning bolts shone in all directions, equally fierce and domineering. Bang! The moment the space distorted, Lei Gensheng's body trembled as if he had been hit by a volcanic eruption. He could not control himself and flew backward. His eyes widened and he roared. Stop! Lei Gensheng tapped his feet hard and a large amount of silver lightning erupted behind him. He controlled his strength to retreat. Song Shi would not give him the chance to adjust. He stomped on the ground again, and as the ground shattered, he suddenly shot over. It was still the dragon subduing palm. Lei Gensheng had no choice but to raise the nine dragons lightning spirit mace and inject his nomological power into it. Roar! A huge silver lightning dragon rushed out of the hammer. It was a thousand feet long and carried a world-destroying aura as it struck down at San Shi. San Shi did not retreat or dodge. The fire dragon in his hand expanded in size as well, and he charged forward fearlessly. Boom! Thepor of thunder and fire collided, causing a violent explosion on the spot. The aftershock landed on Lei Gensheng's body. He grunted and was forced back. He fell to the ground, his clothes torn and his body charred. He was actually injured by his own attack. Shame surged in his heart, and he was furious. However, he could not afford to be distracted, as a huge flaming foot suddenly shot down from the sky, like a comet. He hurriedly rolled to dodge. Boom! Sanshi left a footprint dozens of feet deep on the ground. Your movements are quite agile. Sanshi evaluated and used divine teleportation footwork. Nomological power erupted behind him and his speed increased as he launched a lightning attack. Boom! 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 He was like a human bomb that would explode wherever he touched. A large amount of supreme yawn true fire spread out and seal a figure with blink. After Lei Gensheng retreated once, he was completely at a disadvantage. He retreated again and again, dodging and dodging again and again. A dignified lightning element cultivator should have been on the attacking side but he was beaten up by San Shi so much that he could only defend. There was a saying that one would lose if one defended for too long. In less than 10 moves, there was an explosion and the Nine Dragons Lightning Spirit Mace in his hand was sent flying. He was punched in the chest and smashed into the ground while vomiting blood. If not for the fact that his armor was a high-grade Dharma treasure that blocked most of the destructive power, this punch would have broken all his bones. San Shi landed at the side. The flames on his body danced and his sword or rage. He was no longer interested in continuing to attack. Lei Gensheng, you've lost. Go to the Sai. He didn't like to kill people who hadn't killed him before. He couldn't be bothered to waste his energy. I've lost. Lei Gensheng was in a daze. He thought that after a hundred years of bitter cultivation and tempering his body in the Thunder Spirit Pool day and night, he would be able to shock the world this time. In the end, he met a pervert like the blood-robed old ghost who had completely defeated him. Song Shi pursed his lips. After his golden divine body reached the top grade, his combat strength had increased by a huge margin. It was incomparable to before. At this moment, the blood in his entire body was boiling. He felt full of strength and even had a bold thought. He could fight ten people like Lei Gensheng at once. The crowd that had given way to the arena was silent. 
They did not see the blood-robed old ghost suppressing Jin Wujia and Li Ba. Now that Lei Gensheng was defeated, it meant that not only did the blood-robed old ghost have a deep foundation, but its combat strength was also very powerful. The Lord of the Thunder Kingdom's face was dark. He snorted and said, Gensheng, you didn't lose for nothing. I haven't even cultivated a great mastery divine body yet. Has not your peer at all. The great mastery divine body was a standard for the soul transformation realm. If one wanted to cultivate it in advance, they basically had to rely on external forces. Otherwise, it was impossible. I understand, Grandpa. Lei Gensheng wiped the blood from the corner of his mouth and stared at Song Shi. You used other methods to improve yourself. It was an unfair victory. Sooner or later, I will surpass you. Song Shi laughed when he heard that. Are you saying that you didn't rely on external objects to cultivate and relied on your own hard work only? It's different. Lei Gensheng shook his head and regained his confidence. Just you wait. When your external power loses, suffect and you stop advancing. I will quickly catch up. With that, he turned into a bolt of lightning and left. The Thunder Emperor makes sense. This blood-robed old ghost has lived for a thousand years. He must have used other methods to forcefully increase his physique. His cultivation is not worthy of his level at all. Chin Muji suddenly echoed loudly. But in fact, he was finding an excuse for his failure. You're just relying on external objects, yet you actually dare to be so arrogant. You'll suffer retribution in the end. Li Ba followed Su and belittled him. At this moment, his mood was much better. The person who defeated him and made him suffer was not a true genius. He was just an old fellow, relied on external items and was actually very old. His potential was still inferior to his. Song Chi was a little speechless. Were these guys consoling themselves so that they could feel better about their defeat? It's time to end this, blood-robed old ghost. You caused a ruckus at the immortal opportunity meeting and did things without hesitation. You're also a traitor of Great Jin. Today, he'll capture you on behalf of Great Jin. Emperor Jin spoke righteously and openly, as if he was upholding justice. Song Shi had become the representative of the demonic cults and should be punished. He walked out step by step. His monstrous magic power surged and transformed into a golden heavenly dragon. It was 10,000 feet long and its dragon roar shook the world, as if a dragon god had descended. The void within a radius of a hundred miles was shaking. The power of heaven and earth was gathering towards the lawn dragon, and the clouds were dyed golden. Song Shi looked at the sky and felt the power of heaven and earth submit under Emperor Kion's feet. He was a little shocked. Was this the true strength of the soul transformation realm? Every move could mobilize the power of heaven and earth, like a god of this world. He sighed. The power of the soul transformation realm is indeed powerful. In this world, it's not an exaggeration to say that has a god. The other kings and demon powerhouses revealed looks of fear. Only the few greater demon venerables did not have much of a reaction because they were also existences of the same level. Emperor Jin stepped on the golden dragon and looked down at San Shi. Blood-robed old ghost, stop your cultivation and they'll spare your life. Did I ask for you to save my life? San Shi sneered. His expression did not change much. No matter how powerful the Jin Emperor was, to him it was only a matter of farming deaths. Then don't blame me. Emperor Jin raised his hand and prepared to capture the blood-robed old ghost. Wait. Emperor Jin, this blood-robed old ghost has not only offended your country. My country is also his enemy. We don't agree to let you capture him directly. Although the Li Nation's ruler was afraid, he still stood up in the end. Not wanting to miss out on discovering the secret of the blood-robed old ghost, 